Brittany Vassar is getting a divorce. She announced it about two weeks ago, and so far she's made two videos talking about her divorce. She's monetizing the hell out of this. So far, I think she's made about $10,000 off those two videos talking about her divorce on YouTube. Today, we're gonna watch her most recent video together. It's titled, What's Next For Me? Starting Over. This may surprise you. It's a lot to discuss and don't be fooled by my perky demeanor. I mean, things are a roller coaster, but I am focusing so much on my mental health right now and getting into a good mindset. I think some people are surprised by how she's coming off on social media because she does seem happy. I think it's great that she's working on her mental health and you know, this is just a season in her life and she has to get through it and she has to be strong for her kids, but she's also doing a job here. This is her job. Posting this video right here is Brittany showing up for work. The first question that has been coming up a lot is, am I moving? What's the living situation? Yeah, I think a lot of people wanna know where Ryan is living because we haven't seen him in a while. I am not planning on moving if I can at all avoid it. I love my house. I'm a home buddy. I live right down the street from my dad and my stepmom. And when we got this house in 2016, it was so affordable compared to real estate now. And I refinanced to a 15 year mortgage in which I am paying less every month for my mortgage than I would pay if I got an apartment or a condo in my area. What if he doesn't want to move either? What happens? <laughs> well, then you're forced to sell the house and both of you have to move unless they can come to a mutual agreement that, you know, Brittany keeps the house and she'll just buy him out. So she might be writing Ryan a fat check pretty soon. And if she keeps making divorce videos on YouTube, she'll be able to afford it. Because can you imagine making over $10,000 in just two weeks? He is currently still here, which in some ways, is really hard in some ways is good for the kids because as long as he's here it's less disruption it might be less disruption physically because like their schedule is probably very similar to what it used to be but kids pick up on every little thing and they already know trust me legally he is entitled to stay here until everything is finalized and how long does the divorce take um well i learned in california minimum of six months could take years just depending on how things play out. I really hope that is not the case. Wow, I cannot imagine living with your ex for six months to a year in the same house. Okay, baby tried to do this and remember Kira just moved out because she wanted her own space. I don't see Brittany moving out of this house, so maybe Ryan will just get tired of the dynamic, you know, of living with your ex and how awkward and uncomfortable I'm sure that is. Maybe he'll move out. Next question is, do the kids know what is going on yet? And no, they do not. I don't agree with that. I think the kids do know. I mean, the youngest probably doesn't understand the logistics of a divorce or even what a divorce means, but the kids definitely know mom and dad aren't the same mom and dad that was in that house six months ago or even a year ago. You don't have to verbally communicate something to someone for them to understand what's going on. A lot of times communication is nonverbal and kids pick up on every little thing. Oh, now I'm gonna get into some tea, okay? Cause I think it's a little cringy for her to sit here making this YouTube video and call this tea. She's calling her relationship, her marriage, her drama, she's calling it tea. She knows exactly what she's doing. I'm not saying she's doing anything wrong. It just is a little cringy to hear her say, I'm about to spill the tea when she's talking about her marriage, her divorce, her life, her drama. I think she could have left that part out, but she is really trying to sell this to you guys. She's trying to captivate her audience and pull them in. This is a drama channel, so tea might be a word I would use to describe all of this, but it's a little cringy to hear her say that. When her kids watch this video, you know, 10, 15 years from now, or even when she watches this video 10 years from now, how will she feel about that? How will they feel about this? Am I going to date again? When? And my answer may shock you. Here's the truth of the matter, you guys. Um, I am not planning on dating again, ever, or having any sort of romantic relationship again. This is not shocking to me at all. She's such an introvert, homebody, 
Yeah, I'm not shocked by this. And if you go back and watch some of their previous Q&As, they just did not seem compatible. Brittany and Ryan did a Q&A about two years ago, and they talk about how often they have sex, and Ryan wants it seven days a week. And Brittany said once a week would be good enough for her. So I think that was a huge issue in their marriage. I don't think it was the only issue, but I definitely think that's something they struggled with. They just don't seem to mesh well together, in my opinion. He's a spender. She's not. He's outgoing. She's not. Um, how often do you engage in intimacy? Whoa, twice. Twice a week. <laughs> so his ideal would be seven times a week. And mine might be one. So you kind of have to meet in the middle slash closer to Wait, what the woman wants. Should that be three and a half? Did you hear what she just said? You can obviously tell they have an issue with this, but she said it should be closer to what the woman wants. I think you need to meet in the middle on this one and compromise. No, that sounds dramatic. And when I tell people this, they're like, oh, Brittany, you're just going through a breakup. You say this now, but you're gonna change your mind. And look, maybe I will. I'm not going to say I'll never change my mind. I think she will eventually change her mind, but I think what she's trying to say is she's not going to look for anyone. She's not going to actively like seek out dating right now, which I think is so healthy. Take time for yourself. Be alone. So I think Brittany is doing the right thing by taking her time, not even thinking about dating because when you're going through something like this, there's so many moving pieces, so many emotions. Kids are involved. Just chill for a second, you know, just take a deep breath and chill. But at this point in time, I am just not interested in being with anybody. Like I've seen what I need to see. And I, I just want to ride solo. I just want to um, focus on myself, my kid and being Totally honest, I'm a little bit scarred. I am damaged from all of this. So it's just not in my radar whatsoever. Remember in the video she made announcing her divorce, she said she was going to keep everything private, that she didn't want to put stuff out on the internet for her kids to see one day. Well, what is she saying here? She's saying she's damaged. So in my opinion, she's saying Ryan did something horribly wrong. Maybe he mistreated her. Maybe I don't know what he did to her. She's coming off like she's the victim in this situation. I'm not saying she is or she is not the victim. I don't know. But she did say she wasn't going to put any information out there. And then here she is spilling the tea as she calls it. So I think Brittany is definitely dropping little pieces of information here and there. And she's dragging him. She's dragging him on YouTube to get views. Are we talking? Are we on speaking terms? And we do communicate via text. Via text? And you're in the same house? Are you kidding me? And you think your kids don't know? They know. About the kids. And that's kind of where we're at. We're doing kind of like a split custody arrangement while we still live together. And we're basically like ships in the night. I'm going to eat lunch now. And it's something that is really... Then she goes straight into an ad. <laughs> This girl is trying to make bank off this. Almost every time she does a HelloFresh ad, she does a Q&A about her marriage. Two years ago, I watched this Q&A, and this is where they talk about their sex life and everything. She also did a HelloFresh ad. Listen to what she had to say about HelloFresh. Don't forget to use my link down in the description box for HelloFresh. HelloFresh is the number one supporter of my YouTube channel. What she's actually saying here is, she makes a lot of money with HelloFresh. So if you have a brand and they pay you a lot of money to promote their products, you're gonna put it in a video where you know you will get a lot of views. Like you're gonna give this sponsor your best video. And that's what she's done every time with these marriage Q and A's and talking about divorce and stuff. She also inserts HelloFresh. So not only does she make the Google AdSense money, but she also makes bank off the sponsorship thousands and thousands of dollars off the sponsorship. So if you guys support them, you're also supporting us and our family, so I really appreciate it. And they gave me the best code. And Brittany's not breaking any laws here, okay? She's not like doing anything wrong. I'm just explaining how this works, how influencing works, because some people don't understand how sponsorships and all of this works. Really helped me. It is so smart, you need to try this. So I have started ordering the HelloFresh meal kit. You haven't just started ordering HelloFresh. You've been advertising them on your channel for at least two years. Okay, so I'm fast forwarding through this ad. What about this divorce is the most difficult, what is stressing me out the most? And first and foremost above everything else is how this is going to affect the kids. Other thing that is beyond comprehension um, is how expensive this is. My legal bills for this month 
is the same amount that I was paid for my first job out of college, my annual salary. Like that is the level here. I don't know if this is common for all the forces or just ours or what is going on, but between the retainers and the forensic accountants. And she just said forensic accountant. No girl, everybody doesn't hire a forensic accountant when they're going through a divorce. She's trying to act clueless here, but she's not clueless. When I said she's acting clueless, I'm referring to her comment that she just made about how expensive a divorce is. She said, ah, oh, this is so expensive. I don't understand. Is everybody's divorce this expensive? Uh, no, come on. She knows she's going through some stuff right now that everybody doesn't go through when they divorce. I've heard a lot of creators talk about divorce and she's the first one I've heard to bring up a forensic accountant. So, so let's find out what is a forensic accountant. Tracy Conan is a forensic accountant and fraud coach and expert and talks all about how to know whether or not there is financial fraud in your marriage. We know divorce can be a pretty difficult moment for some families. A lot of the struggle being based on finances. I'm a fraud investigator, so I find money. I work on the corporate side, investigating executives who are stealing money or manipulating financial statements. But I also work on the personal side in divorce cases, trying to find out where a family's money has gone. Oh, damn. Can you believe Brittany just dropped that bomb? I thought she was keeping everything private. A forensic accountant finds out where the money is going. Is the other person manipulating your financial statements? Are they stealing the money? Gambling maybe? Is there some type of fraud going on? What is going on? I cannot believe Brittany let out this piece of information. All this stuff, it is crazy. And yesterday I had a panic attack, like full on. I got my first bill and I was like, had a panic attack. But yeah, that is why I am particularly grateful right now for brands like HelloFresh and for you guys, if you ever shop through my link, because I just feel this whole new level of pressure to provide, not just for myself, but for my kids. Oh my gosh, who saw that coming, right? Now the little sob story, like this is why I am especially thankful for all the brands that work with me and for you guys for clicking on that link. I mean, this is cringy. Content creators sometimes come off as slightly begging, you know? Think about another job. I don't know, any other job. If you go to buy a house, your real estate agent, for example, would your real estate agent ever say something like that? I'm going through a divorce, such a hard time. I had to hire a forensic attorney and I got the bill the other day and had a panic attack. And, and that's why I appreciate so much you buying this house. No, a realtor would never say that, but influencers have no shame. They say this to their viewers all day, every day. Look, I get it. She's going through a divorce, a difficult time in her life, and she needs to make money. She needs to work. I totally get it. But the way she set this up in her video, the way she went about spilling the tea, then the sponsor. Then she talked about getting the attorney's bill, having a panic attack, and then thanking you for your support. I mean, it's all strategic. I analyze content creators daily, and this is what I'm getting from this video. They try to pull on your heartstrings and they try to do it in a subtle way so you don't even know it's happening, but it's totally happening in this video. Then Brittany ends the video by giving some tips and tricks for dating, being in a relationship. She talks about red flags and when to leave and all these things, but she ends it by saying this. And again, these are kind of just general things that I've learned in my life, not specific to our situation necessarily. So that is going to wrap up this little Q&A vlog. So just keep in mind that was all general advice that doesn't necessarily apply to her life.